team Favela Boys and team Skyrise, and I am so lucky to be joined on this cast by the one only Mr. iPad. iPad, it's a best of one, it's Dark Carnival, the winner goes to the Grand Finals, loser goes home, what more could you ask for? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good match. Uh, maps 1-4 to four on LA, two very competent teams going into the lower bracket finals of Quarantine Anniversary Tournament. Should be good to watch, um, I suppose teams are looking to go live so we'll do a quick roster rundown um you can start off with uh skyrise it's a routine skyrise on the special infected side first they are the tournament's number five seed from what i saw on the brackets it's intel pentium gamer aka innuendo frey nf and krycha and who do we have for the favela boys dina you're not Although... dina. jesus ipad <laughs> well dina is one of them he so is on them, exactly yeah <laughs> for the favela boys we've got dina dda Discreet and Caution, which is pretty much the main roster for the boys in the favela. A bit of a back and forth <laughs> chit chat in chat right now about uh, Discreet's ping being low. Did warn them about this going into the match, so uh, I'm sure they can handle themselves and sort it out. But uh, yeah, it should be a good match. Obviously, uh, the winner of this match, who do they verse? Is it, uh, it was in the finals already? Team Am. Team Amp, that's right. Team Amp are Koreans who are already into the finals and um, get confusing with VGT going side by side. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go live soon. Now, the first tank's obviously at 32%. That's quite early. No heroes. Yeah. This is though there is still an actual conversation about whether or not we're going to be switching the server, but apparently NF is banned on Sir, so that is <laughs> yeah. something that would be a problem in order to play on. Uh, I would say, you know, any server, but definitely Chicago. Right now we're on LA, which I think is actually the best matchup. And honestly, this is one of those things that I've seen as an admin and a caster for a while. I've played on ping a little bit more as a player now, too. But, like, there really is, like, you have to try to find the, the best option available out of something here. And people are like, oh, okay, so boys in the favela have a little bit of, like, a ping advantage here and that kind of stuff. But like, uh, you, have, I mean... you, have, you have one player who's at orange versus... You know, everybody else is running between 161 and 196. It's going to be as perfect as it can possibly get, especially for a best of one game like this. I would say. I mean, usually, so... like when we when we've been versing Kryce's team or Skyrise first in the in the past two matches, um, I've played just to balance out the pings. I think they want to see one more red ping player. But because the reason why this has been played is because uh, originally our VGT match, got, which is against. I think the Koreans was meant to happen straight after this. So they did two back-to-back -back matches and assumed that both matches will have the same roster. However, the Korean or the VGT match got changed to Monday for us anyway. And uh, I suppose this street remained on the roster. But yeah, it's just a bit of back and forth, I suppose, at the moment. Um, obviously, Skyrise not happy that Discrete's still playing. And I mean, I suppose have got the right to be, but at the same time, I did it. I did tell Kryta quite early on that uh, the street will be playing, so maybe a bit of miscommunication, something like that. But uh, the game's about to go live, nevertheless. I suppose both teams have come to a maybe. I think uh, Caution might rejoin to connect on higher ping. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like what they're gonna do here, but. You know, it's something too, it's like, alright, before a game of this magnitude, right, where it's elimination game, winner moves on to the finals, it's like, this is the one part where every single, you know, point of ping matters in terms of how the teams balance out, like, even more so than usual. The fact that Stark Carney 1-4, to four, I think, really helps both sides, because this is probably the most well-known map in the entire community, and it looks as though, yeah, I mean, the, the crosstalk right now... Just because, like I said, it has that part of the pressure added to it, but also, like, when you're playing on a neutral server game, you don't really have enough room to be able to screw something up, especially on high ping, and then come back on your home server and, like, manage to make things right. So everybody is going to have to play, you know, the best they possibly can here. But this is going to be, you know, that that is if we can get a sub for discreet instead, but I don't believe that's actually going to happen. Okay, yeah, yeah, Kim G's gonna go. That makes, that, that, that makes 100% sense. It's like some fucking WWE shit, where people just <laughs> randomly show up and then they put in. And yeah, I mean, hey, uh, apparently there's gonna be a no. I mean, there there. Uh, there won't be a sub. I think uh, Caution's just gonna use a VPN to make his ping higher. Obviously, I don't think that's the issue for uh skyrise i think they want that 
like I said earlier, they just don't want an orange ping player to uh, to be foes uh, on on the roster. I don't re like looking at it overall. I don't think that's going to make a difference because knowing Discreet's position in the match, he plays at number four, so it's not like he's going to have you know orange ping playing shotgun at the front or whatever. But I don't know. I, like uh, some of the boys have been saying, it could have been organised before the match. So you don't, you know, Typically have, uh, be, but yeah. so have 80 people watching uh, just two teams going back and forth on a live stream. I mean, that's classic left for that too, though, in a lot of ways. There's been, <laughs> yeah. there have been how many disputes and that kind of stuff that have caused servers to change or servers to knock on wood to crash and that kind of stuff. But I'm expecting things to be pretty stable once we actually do go live. The 32% tank being where it's at, you know, just to open the game with something like that, it's not usually like a high wipe rate tank. Once both teams kind of get into their rhythm, especially on the survivor side, I would say, if they're able to, because both teams have extremely well-coordinated special infected, right? But once the game actually gets going, I don't expect to see as much cross-team talk like that. They're trying, maybe maybe they're getting it all out now before we're ready up, which would also be good in some ways. But looks as though Caution is back. Skyrise are all here, and they have been readied up, I believe. So I think we should just be able to take this live right now. Skyrise are indeed ready to go for it, so... This is going to be this semifinals match right here on Dark Carney map one as soon as Caution takes this away. And he says that he's going to match in Nuendo's ping. And honestly, yeah. it's pretty close. It's really, really close. It's 186 versus 194. This does actually look a bit better. I think at this stage, uh, both teams are just going to be over it and be ready to go. Um, and we are live. So obviously the first hit we've got, well, I'm going to see a charge of smoke, but I think I see a boomer and a jockey, is it? A hunter. Yeah, decent attack to start here, but tough to land anything in this open area sometimes. Charger, Smoker, Boomer, Hunter already trying to go in. Boomer's gonna spawn behind the bus and get a single boom. Nice double cap as well. The Charger coming in to get damage on Nick and Dunn's gonna tap. Get Charger right. Nick down. So DDA loses about. Uh, where is my health bar? Loses about 41, 41 HP. HP. Yeah, on that Off first hit. That is really, really nice for that area. I mean, I was literally just saying maybe it was one of those reverse caster curse things about how it's hard <laughs> to land anything yeah. there, but they managed to get the charger to land after that double cap, and that's kind of what I just said, I Pat. Like, both these teams are going to have really strong cohesion on Special Infected just because they've played together for a bit of time and also just the number of games they've put in. Both these teams scrim extremely regularly, and so we expect to see a really good mm. matchup in terms of that. I mean, it doesn't matter who you think... Yeah, I suppose it's better on paper, on, on, on match day, I suppose, on game day, particularly. Any team can win. The smallest of mistakes can cost the match, so... Another Hunter, not another Hunter, but a Jock hunt lands on Coach. Spitter, unfortunately, misses, though. That's a little unfortunate. They do get a quad sack, I think, but the tank's ha up in the hands of NF, who, I suppose, is... Uh... Well, he did play last game also. I think it was Innuendo that didn't play, but... Nevertheless, tank in the hands of NF. Indeed, and this is actually the last match of two, I think, that we're going to be seeing Zone Mod 1.6 played versus 2.2, because I know Victory and Guns just chained the entire config to 2.2 in oh, the middle of the tournament. Yeah, they did. Um, <laughs> okay, so, I <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting to see exactly how the Uzi especially have an impact in a game like this, but Hit's going to be yeah. going in, Hunter's going to land briefly, Rocket skeeted, Smoker's jumping around for a bit of extra damage, and because it is 1.9.6, iPad, they have that hittable back near the safe room, so we might expect to see Boys in the Fell just play this as far as they possibly can instead of having to deal with that. In the they time just, uh, yeah, they're just gonna have to be cautious of the ammo because it took about maybe three hits so far. First hit actually landed a double boom, so those Suzies are gonna be running low on ammo. And they're happy to take a bit of chip at the moment, just trying to, trying to get a desperate rock, but I'm not too sure if this chip's worth it. Might send in one more hit. The jockey's free spawned behind the car. As well as the charger coming in from the safe room does get deleted and the jockey gets m2'd and deleted at the same time leaving a boomer so they're either going to have a hunter smoker and boomer or they get a charger in the next rotation the biggest change too i think in this game from what we saw last week is the lineup change for skyrise i know venom had been playing for them slash with them uh for a few of the matches recently i think his innuendo yeah. has been out and he played extremely well so i the expect to see yeah, I expect to see a really interesting special infected setup here going in, but this boomer is not going to land, unfortunately. It was a smoker hunter boomer situation, but now NF is caught out a little bit by this bus. He has his hit a ball on the right hand side, I mean, but he's getting shit. Yeah. It's alright. I mean, it's not do or die at the moment for NF. He does have a car. Like, this is probably the best situation for Team uh, 
Oh, they're gonna push forward with this, and they actually do get forward quite nicely. The smoker completely out of play, um, anticipating the survivors to kite into the safe room. So this is good pushing by Favela boys. Nick does get pulled and cleared. Now that a few desperate hits by the tank to uh to get the ball rolling. Smoker lands on Nick again, a punch onto DDA, and this might be an in cap. It's a pretty good job by uh, Team Skyra. As one more infected left, Tarja doesn't land a. Rock also misses, so Tank's just going to be trying to kite survivors into a corner. Might land this rock though. Does not, and uh, that should be. Oh, that's not punch lands onto Ellis. Second, maybe a third. Ooh, so caution actually giving the tank two free punches. Probably uh, the best result for them at this stage. For all that was with that hittable ending up on top of the billboard, I think that the special effect did a nice job on Team Skyrise's side of getting as much damage out of that as they could. They almost got two in-caps with that second corner onto Caution late, but instead, it's two sets of pills committed, and honestly, I mean, with this amount of bleed, they can still go-go pretty fast. Obviously, they're used to playing on the higher ping and moving when they kind of need to, but it's going to be up to Skyrise now to get any kind of other damage in that they can. Boomer tries to go for that initiation rocket boom, but it's not going to land. Charger Hunter Spitter for the rest of the hit, and... Honestly, I'd say, Pat, they could push this choke with these three and just hopefully not get caught out from above by either that pound spit or that charger. Yeah, and, and that, that'll be the idea. They're going to try pressure onto the infected team. The Hunter lands a poor damage pound. So Spitter actually lands onto Rochelle, so a bit of damage onto Dina, but nothing that inflicts too much pain. The jockey does remain alive. So, I mean, I'm not too upset if I'm Team Skyrise. You know, not many teams actually eat a lot of damage for that early tank. Um, Reload! But good kiting, I suppose, by, by the boys in Favela to actually get out of a dangerous situation. They do uh, now actually have a 2-2 with a spitter, Boomer, Smoker, and Jockey. Forcing the car does get triggered, the alarm. Boomer on uh, Rochelle, they try to make their way back up. And I think that's a quad sack. Maybe. Indeed it is, yeah, that's going to be a lot of horde coming in from the back, but if they hold W here, they should be able to get out of most of it without actually being too bogged down by the common, so they could even take the drop at the same time, but it's going to be that quad hit for Team Skyrise, Jockey, Hunter, Charger, and the Smoker should be in spawn queue in just about a second from now, Maybe and no. they're going to have to send it in right as they do here, Charger's going in for the cover on this Jockey, there's the triple cap, but the Smoker oh was not God. there! The that smoker was wasn't there, that was absolutely an iPad, and it's still uh, a huge amount of damage, uh, but... Who is it? It's in you end, You end, though. Heart yeah. in mouths for Favela boys. Nearly got quoted again. Uh, <laughs> in the quarantine anniversary tournament, unfortunately, for uh, Skyrise. The smoker was just... I think, I think what happened was he missed his jump spawn from the top of the mountain, but uh, real close call there. The Favela boys who actually lose a lot of bonus from that hit, 150. They're gonna actually be forced now because one survivor would be perma slow even if they popped all their pills to kill this horde in the bottom yeah. of the ravine here. And so they're just gonna be bleeding out throughout that entire thing. They still have a decent bonus, but yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think I would have just sacked the 2 2 there and maybe hit with one more quad at the safe room, but now they're just gonna be forced to hit one time. Um, it's a bit of a, a bit of a missed opportunity. I think it's skated quite nicely, the boomer. Obviously not in range, but we'll get a scratch onto Nick, maybe. Oh, into speed, maybe. Yeah, so that... Yeah. I don't know, I think you're right about maybe sending the 2-2 there, just because the survivors would still have had somebody slow, but instead now, they're going to be able to keep those pills for the pill bonus and yeah. make their way in. They're going to have just about 730 they points. They might be able to get a hit in, though. Yeah, they should try to as fast oh, as they can here. They need to go, they need to go, they need to go. Oh, they got Rochelle! Rochelle, Rochelle, gets Rochelle. In cap onto Dina, and that further reduces the DB. So, a little act of desperation, I suppose, trying to get into the safe room as fast as they can. Speed up manages to get a bit of damage onto the in cap survivor, so that won't make too much of a difference. But I'm loving this pressure by Skyrise. They're actually here to play. They hit extremely fast on that side that way, just trying to find the best spawns when they can, and getting as many hits as they can at the same time. Pays off for them there, right at the safe room. 672 points for the Favela boys off that first map. And I don't know, iPad, I mean, with that tank, you can take even less damage than we saw the Favela boys take, but with that hittable in play, plus if they get boomed on survivor side, right, it could still do a fair amount of damage, and then you have to take the entire map with a couple of survivors bleeding, and... I think Skyrise can shut the tank down and not have that happen, but in this situation, I mean, every single tank on Boys in the Favela, they're going to know how to play this to the best of their ability, so.
Unfortunately, this first tank, you know, it's a bit of a rough one. Uh, no matter how good you are at the tank, I suppose the long arms will help. Check All four out. of them actually having, well, maybe not discreet, but the rest of the Dina, DDA, and Caution definitely have long arms. The spectator's gonna be kicked. Yep, and um, we go live. So, will uh, Sky Race take the first hit cleaner than Boys in Favela? Obviously, the same sort of rotation. Charger, Boomer, Smoker, and uh, Hunter. Boomer, Charger actually spawning on top of the billboard. You have to be careful as to not to get too separated. NF pushing a little forward to Uzi, all of the survivors kiting forward, the Hunter spawns in the bush and gets cleared quite quickly as well, the Charger lands on Rochelle and will get one pound. So, I suppose it's a bit of damage, I really think Charger shouldn't be landing in the safe room, but you know what, it's probably better than how the Vela boys took it, so. Playing three Uzis, our Skyrise, pushing forward to try get this tank spawn before another hit spawns up but i do think they didn't push w too hard pretty sure the boys in favela took another hit right they did yeah they got two hits prior to this tank spawn and now if you look at the amount of common that are just wandering in the survivor's going to be backing up with the si going in there that Ooh. is going to be a quick pounce spit however landing with a jockey in the front for a bit more damage across the board here but yeah, I still think it's a bit better for Skyrise at this point, but let's see exactly what this tank can do, because it's going to be up now into the hands of Dana himself for the Favela boys, and he's going to immediately start making his way towards the bus here to keep some early sight as this boomer does get shut down. I suppose there's a good bit of spread for uh, Favela boys onto the health of HB, I suppose, of uh, Skyrise. Discreet yet to get some points. Must be difficult on that orange ping. <laughs> But uh, Tank's in the hand of Dina, who has pretty nice arms, so hopefully uh, they get their SI right here to get him a rock. The Hunter's Priest one behind the, the bus, the Smoker Charger actually gang up on Rochelle, who's actually caught off in probably poor positioning, choice of positioning. He was pretty far, Kreitcher from his team. We'll be able to uh, hard loss and push the Tank. Oh, that the rock! Pass. On Nick, oh. right? <laughs> Quite that close. rock almost hitbox him over the top of that van, and... I think if he wanted to now, Dana might be able to just peek and keep second pass, but yeah, this is this is oh really, God. really, it's really interesting to see exactly, you know, yeah. even when survivors are crouching, the hitbox is the same length above their head, so even though they're kind of like trying to hide behind those props, the tank can still land a rock pretty nicely, and oh, there's dude. a Jockey going out in the back, Hunter looking for the intercept as well, onto Kreischer, that is a lot of damage onto them, Boomer is going to miss that boom, however, just by a little bit, and the survivors, because they're taking that much damage now, just on the hits, I think are going to fully try to back up an LOS's tank in. But, yeah, I don't know. The Skyrise, they do like position themselves a little better. They're having one player who's pushing a random spawn or I think trying to loss in a separate position. I think in that circumstance, Rochelle again had to push the jockey and got, well, this might be a corner onto Rochelle who gets punched away. Luckily for Kreitcher, we'll get hunted from behind. Get punched away again. He better watch out for the car. This is a bit of problems for Team Skyrise. Good skeet by NF. Does get a corner onto the onto uh innuendo does Dina. Oh Did no, but this car This could easily be a kill on your innuendo. There's the rock, there's the punch! Almost dead, but he's going to die first. If he had rocked that car twice, I think that's yeah. a kill. I think that's a kill, but still a really good amount of damage going out. Pretty similar, honestly, from both tanks when all things are said and done, but it's absolutely huge for Skyrise that they managed to dodge that kill. Yeah, you're right, actually. It's actually nearly identical. I think they had one more set of pills extra to develop boys, but yeah, missed opportunity. Dina had a good chance with about, what, 1500 health maybe on uh, tank or AK okay, to get a grind on, uh, on Cryjo? No, Innuendo. Yeah. yeah. Good skeet by NF on that Hunter during the tank, but. Now the bridge hit. Mm, Hunter's pre-spawned in front here as the survivors make their way out. Going for that Uzi skeet, not quite finding it yet. Jockey's gonna land. Charger's going in from the back, it is going to miss. And now Skyrise are gonna be holding their W keys as hard as possible, I would say. They want to only deal with maybe two, two and a half more hits if they can on this entire map, depending on how fast they can push. But if they don't get boomed here, they should be in a decent spot to do that. Yeah. I don't think the... So they'll always get another charger for this, but if they do, it might be Charger Boomer instead, so... Well... Boomer, Smoker, suppose, Hunter, Jockey, right? Yeah, and the Boomer does land a single onto uh, Ellis. So Hunter is actually going to plan the separation of NF at the very back. Jockey onto Rochelle dies quite clearly, but NF takes a bit of damage from that Hunter. 
And uh, so, so far what I've noticed, I suppose from, from Skyrise gameplay, is I'm not too sure if they have, uh, I suppose, a lead player at the moment. They seem to be just... I mean, they're not walking into hits, but they don't have, like, a shotgun player at the front or... I don't know, something I'd like to see, I suppose, improve towards uh, the second and, and latter half of the match is maybe see... I don't know, a bit more position... not positioning, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but... Uh, some logical, I suppose, gameplay by Spire was good. Hit again by Favela Boys, still and a spit jockey. However, they do have a good amount of bonus still. 267, which is just shy of what Favela Boys made due to the... Down here. Close quad cap, they nearly ate at the bottom of the hill. Reloading. Set up also boys. actually. Yeah, they're gonna win this round now because of those SI hits they've been having there. And honestly, there was one hit where Coach, that I being an SMI Yeah, no. I've seen the set of pills. He's gonna go he, for the set of pills. He's going for pills, oh, but he's also God. entirely oh, alone. The smoker pole is gonna go out, but they should be able to clear this charger though going in. For a couple of punches too. I don't think it was worth honestly to get those pills at this point, just because of the amount of damage that we're seeing go out. And the hunter's going back in for a DP, not gonna find it. But they have two survivors perma slow now, and they have a lot of bonus still to be taken off. Hunter oh, going for the DP, landing directly in front of Coach's kneecaps as the smoker pull goes out, and the hunter again not quite oh, able to find oh. it. Mate, the. The survivors aren't moving, Dina. Do you want them to be, like, frozen? Are you gonna land a DP? Hello? Anyway. It was unfortunate for Favela Boys, for sure, but there's still more damage going out onto the bonus here of Team Skyrise as they make their way up the hill, and I think they actually might be able to even get two more hits now, depending on what happens on this one. Smoker, Spitter, Charger, and a Jockey for the hit. Smoker pull does go out onto Ellis. Jockey goes in for the intercept onto Coach, managing to land it. Charger, though, is going to whiff, but this is really nice now for the Favela Boys iPad, because they're going to be up, I think, by a couple hundred points when this is all said and done. Yeah. Definitely up by a couple of hundred points, I suppose. Uh, Skyrise right. made a bit of distance, they're still walking with a bit of bonus, I think. They have 140, if they can hold on to at least 100 of it. Uh, they're only about 150 Reloading. points behind, so... Uh, not too bad, I suppose. Both teams playing Survivor a bit weak at the trailer. moment, but... Good, uh, good SI hits here from, uh... From Favela Boys, really putting damage, really hurting... Skyrise, another in-cap. Onto Skyrise, the jockey does then, will get cleared. Eventually. And DB hurts even more. This is something now where both of the bonuses, the health bonus and the damage bonus, are pretty low. 12% and 9% respectively. But yeah. before any other in caps are able to go out, that is the safe room being made by Skyrise. 672 to 488 in the favor of the Favela Boys so far. Not a very high scoring map one, as you mentioned, but this is where the ping definitely does come into account, especially when you're playing against people with the same kind of high latency. We might not expect to see, like, I don't know, 800, 900 points per chapter going in, even though these are pretty survivor-sided maps, I would say. But, I mean, it's still going to be a, pretty, a fairly high scoring game, I think. These tank spawns, though, are going to give the SI sides, like, a real chance to do work, depending on where they are, especially if they're one of those weird tank spawns you know, like, especially on this map of like 60%, but thankfully we're actually going to be able to avoid that because it's going to be 27%. Classic hittable tank here in the first area, and that is a lot of... I mean, that, that has the potential to go really either way with either, like, complete shutdown by the survivors to a wipe. It's going to be real interesting to see oh, what yeah. they do this. I hate classic For sure. So, I think, uh, as you mentioned, I don't think it was maybe worth... Uh, I think, was it NF that went for the set of pills up top? Yeah. A bit of that and a bit of rushing, I suppose, by the survivor team. Either way, first hit's actually quite scary. Charger Smoker, Jockey, and Spitter, so... I know they, uh... Boys and Favela like to hit out those bins. If they did, the Smoker does land. The Charger does get blocked. Melted. All of them. Except for the Jockey, apparently. A bit of, uh... Damage on the Dina, but... The rest of the SI got melted quite... Swiftly. Indeed, they did, and I think it's one more hit for the SI before the tank's gonna spawn up. We'll see if they're actually able to get everybody down to four punches prior to that happening, but I expect to see a fair amount of Uzis for the Favela boys, and just every attempt made to avoid a crazy rock tank in this spot, as they are also gonna have the distance Uzis going into this. Charger, Smoker, Hunter, and a Boomer for this hit. The Hunter is super manning on top. Pounds, yeah. Feeling pouncing around, trying to do the best that he can for a distraction, but he's already down to 188 HP as well as the rest of this hit goes in. Smoker pull is going to go out onto Ellis. Hunter oh. is going to for not finding it though, Discreet doing a good job of killing that Hunter as that Charger goes in. And I don't know, iPad, that was a little bit more of a discombobulated hit, I would say, by Skyrise. Yeah, it's a bit of a. I don't know, I think they're just trying to get a bit of 
Yeah, damage onto uh, survivors. I do think if they actually tried to sink that hit though, uh, they may have done a bit more damage, I suppose. But either way, tanks in the hands of Frey, who will be circling this bin into play. Uh, ooh, just manages to get on the roof. Ooh, uh, and hits it towards the uh, forklift as to take no damage on this commit. So I think the play will be here to get rid of the boomer, get rid of the. Uh... Oh, actually, the hunter jockey is good. So maybe hunter jockey smoker is probably the ideal set of spawns for the tank. Really like the double hitable commit as well with this dumpster going in. They're going to be killing the hunter and the jockey though at the same point in time. Hunter's still That's trying to find why? a way. Landing That's it onto Rochelle. Bad. This is going to be interesting now because they killed Boomer first, so they could even get Charger Smoker Boomer in this spot, they which are, is they're, gonna get a, they're definitely going to get a Boomer. They're going to get a Charger for sure. Hunter died last, and so no Hunter, so it's either a... Well, they got a Smoker, there we go, so... Yeah, Smoker, Charger, sure. Boomer. I mean, they can make this work, but that Charger needs to land somehow, even if it's on one of the survivors who's inside one of the boosts. Tank is on second pass, and he actually hits his forklift directly out of the bounds. Survivors are backing all the way up, going to the safe room. That actually, I think, is better for this setup than it would be had the survivors fought it forward, just because if Boomer can get a little bit of an easier spawn here, I would say. Tank is going to knock his fork, or not his fork, his dumpster directly out of play, however. Moving his way in, Boomer's looking for a boom from the wall. Nothing to find it, but the tank is under 2k HP as the rest of the hit comes in. Survivors absolutely shredding him at this point, but now the charger is in. Oh, going out. Lots oh, of damage. What is happening? Oh my goodness, Frey, that is so much damage with that little health. iPad, he had less than 500. He had less than 500. What the fuck? Dude. Oh my goodness, that went so bad for Vel Boys so fast. If they had just focused the tank a bit more, I know it was Dana there too, with one of those pump shotties, I think, who was just absolutely railing that tank. But instead, it's three pills committed, only one left for discreet. And so much of that damage, like we just started mentioning, really happened I mean, when that tech was under 1k. Yeah. Uh, All right. at, at this stage, I don't know if it's just... Uh, I don't know. I think uh, it's going to be one of those matches where it's going to be like a seesaw back and forth um, type of thing. I think uh, that fight was a shit show from Favela Boys, to be quite blunt. Yeah. You know, going back to the safe room is obviously the safer strat. I would have agreed to do the same, but with the Charger Boomer, who actually only landed a single boom for that tank, initially anyway, uh, and a Charger that I don't can't remember if the Charger landed. Maybe it did. It landed, yeah. 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 Three sets of pills gone. I'd be cheering if I was Skyrise. Yeah, and there are so many ways for him to shut that tank down better on Survivor side that they might be able to get to. There's a nice pull going out though. Hunter looking for an intercept! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, nearly a quad cap again! Yeah, M2 goes out on the jockey, but that is so much damage, and this is kind of what we were expecting from Team Skyrise. Their SI, just because of that time they've spent playing together and how much they can just know to go in alongside their teammates. That's the second almost quad we've seen in as many oh, maps. Yeah. Like, I mean, what's exciting to see is that Skyrise are definitely here to play. If they can just tidy up the survivor round, they're actually putting quite, uh, I don't know, unforeseen pressure onto, um, onto, I suppose, the Favela boys, who probably assume that this match will be a bit more of a walk in the park, but are being proved otherwise so greatly right now. Well, honestly, in, the, in terms of the entire competitive scene, both these teams, the Favela boys and also Skyrise, have placed, they've either won outright or placed extremely highly in some of the most recent tournaments. Like, I know Skyrise made it to the AOC Grand Final and then beat MSB last week in this tournament, and Favela boys are the number mm. one seed in this tournament, so I'm expecting extremely close, like, very, very SI-defined games. I think Favela boys' strength, honestly, is on their SI side, too, and especially their tanks. It, it's easy to kind of have that happen in a high ping environment yeah. like this, but we'll see if Dana is able to escape this without a whole lot of damage as the boomer goes first and the spitter spits outside the ladder choke here with that jockey and the smoker still up. So no reset potential, but I think we're going to be seeing the survivors try to rush us up right now. There's the pull going out. Boomer jumping in as well, getting the proxy boom. Spitter's going to have another spit up and does oh. get a spit and well, there's a bit of separation there, but I suppose he wasn't too much infected damage, maybe a bit of common slapping and... Uh bleed out naturally from that hit. Uh, yeah. They don't have too much health burner, so they just got to preserve their damage bonus. It was something too where I think if they had had the boomer and the spitter on like the different cycles there, like with one going then the other one waiting, they would have been better off with that. But boomer and spitter both went at the start at the same time. 
So, this is going to give the quad cap again, though. Four Team Skyrise, Charger Hunter, Jockey, Smoker. They're going to be sending it fast as that Hunter starts damage counts again, but he is not going to land. Smoker Pull does go out onto Ellis. Jockey gets M2'd again yeah. by Rochelle. So, A little rushed, for my yeah. opinion. The Charger, obviously, has no uh, opportunity to get a spawn there, so they could have been a little more patient. I think they're a little excited that they're getting a, a whole uh, a whole lot of damage onto developer boys, but doing a good job here, Skyrise, getting this damage. They're just going to make sure that they each blow is a uh, you know a, a heavy blow to their damage bonus at this point in time. So bonus at the moment is 311. The charger does go in, and manages to charge the uh, the fence. However, the hunter does get a bit of spit damage for. Uh, oh, the boomer's going to spit block him. Oh, is this another in cap? It is onto caution, who was actually left. Desperately of need of help, but this is another quad opportunity for Skyrise. It's going to be, and the other thing about that is, even going into that hit that we just saw, the, I would say the damage bonus was kind of deceptively high. It was still like 311. It's still yeah. 206 now, despite the way the survivors are looking. To be, yeah. I mean, hey, <laughs> it, it's something about <laughs> something, something, there's a ratio involved, but like, Jockey Hunter Charger Smoker in this area with the talent of this horde can be extremely devastating. They should, especially... yeah, they should send it in sooner than later. Yeah, when the survivors have three people who are pretty much just bleeding, that is a great opportunity for the SI. And there's three the triple cap. Another landing. Three cap. Another oh, triple oh, cap. Oh my goodness. Discreet is going to go down to that smoker. Triple Smoker's cap. A wipe iPad. Jeez, this, this, is not, uh, this is not the score that Favela Boys would have wanted to uh, post after two maps. Dina in a bit of trouble. DDA is going to die here. DDA is actually dead. So, uh, Dina is there's probably a YP, let's just be realistic. Get up, get up. Does he up? Something. Oh, oh, the spinner completely goofed it. Yeah. Dina, now that uh, not much is left, I suppose, I hope. So, uh, another round to contemplate for, uh, for Favela boys. You know, two maps are out of the way, they just gotta shake it off, get rid of these nerves, obviously. And just, you know, focus up, as Discreet would say. Yeah, I mean... It's early enough still to where, okay, 11.32 points isn't bad through the first couple of maps, but it comes down to this tank fight here and whether Skyrise can then, you know, and this is actually a story that we've seen from them in the last match as well on Hard Rain Downpour versus MSB. They were just sometimes on Survivor where their Survivor seemed a little shaky, you know, and when that happened, they were taking a whole lot of damage from the hits outside of tank as well, just with, you know, really, really nice coordination going in. And unfortunately for them, the trend kind of continues here with that pull charge spit going out onto NF right outside the safe room, plus that jockey back. Good starting hit from the Favela boys, and now let's see exactly if they get one more, I think it's going to be, before this tank spawn comes up too. Yeah, I mean, look, it was... I suppose a courageous or a brave idea to just run out there and uh, you know try pick off a spitter or something like that. But I think uh, whoever got pulled, maybe NF needed an instant clear by a shotgun. But they're playing uh, what is it? They're playing three one at the moment, so he didn't really have another shotgun to instant clear that smoke. The smoker does get a pull onto Ellis, who gets uh, instant clear. The hunter desperately trying to land a nice skeet there by Kreischer, two thirty nine and eight shots, uh, and charger misses. So tank in hands of uh, now probably the most experienced tank player. On Favela Boy's caution, he's got a, a big job to do here because the way they fought the tank, uh, he's gonna have to at least reciprocate the same thing. He's knocking that dumpster in the same spot. The only the other thing I really like to see from Skyrise's tank, right, was like if they had been able to get both the hittables in play instead. And Caution is still going for this first dumpster that he's gonna be knocking around. Right next to the forklift now, as this hit goes in, Charger's gonna land, Smoker got a quick pull, Jockey is also looking to land now, as Caution moves his way in, but that's gonna be an interesting sack iPad, I think they're gonna be do Charger Boomer as well. Smoker, this is pretty much, uh, the, the, I feel like both teams are just repeating what they're doing, that each other are doing, so, I think, um, another pull decision in terms of a sack would obviously worked out for Skyrise the big oh my god! And if, Bro, really and ate a sky hittable. Now, do they go back or do they not, is what I'd like to see. So they're actually a bit 50-50 here. They're actually just going to fight it here. Balls in up here. Booba gets popped. That's a huge pop by NF. Tank actually gets a corner. They need to be able to chip this tank. Tank now down to about 2.5k. 2k. Rochelle is on the tank's back. Oh my god. Mm, the tank's dead. The tank is this dead. Tank, this tank needs to die, but he's going to keep getting a little bit of damage on innuendo there. At 15 yeah. HP trying to back up it was a better tank overall 
I would say by Skyrise on the last half, Caution still getting a good amount of damage, but that was so close to Cataclysmic with oh that my fork God. left. <laughs> that fork left went heaven. directly in front of NF's face, like literally directly in front. Big balls there by Crytcha, who just immediately hopped onto the tank's back and pulled out the base for bat, doing about nearly 50% uh, tank damage on his own. So, uh, and actually, I suppose. It, Caution actually whiffed a punch as soon as he turned around to try punch him. The Boomer actually gets a huge hop. Discreet. Jockey lands. Fortunately, cleared. And Spitter dies last. So that's going to be a three cap boom for the alley or potentially the rooftop, depending on if they sack the hit or not. But this is actually quite, uh, quite a good demonstration here at the moment. It looks like they've, they've switched on at the moment a little bit more than round one. Anyway, have a uh, sky rise. Or was that lag? Or was that me? That was, then... that was server lag, unfortunately. Yeah, um, I'm fairly sure that now the momentum is definitely on sky rise inside just a bit. Nice skeet going out as well. It's going to be a boomer charger and a jockey for the rest of this. They can't really afford to send it in the alley, I don't think, or they'll have no hit for the ladder choke, which is, of course, nerfed now because you can reload and shoot on the ladder. But I still think it's something that they have to really try to play off of the best they can, because I think it's the best mm. choke they're going to have left, aside from maybe the start of the event. They're going to get the smoker. The yeah, they okay, killed Okay, this is good, this is good. This is good. To be honest, I kind of prefer like a 2-2 two -two for this. Oh, that boomer actually uh, sort of missed on the on old mate, but they're up. Oh, they're faking it. They need to be careful here. Yeah, they, they're going to clear most of the horde, and I think just bait this as much as they possibly have to, with one survivor going up to the top of the ladder and then dropping back yeah, down. Yeah, there's just, there's just no need to rush. Look at the health they have, the health bonus. Everything's high, quite a good insta clear there. The charger in desperate measures. Tries to get a clip charge. The boomer gets a nice quad, though, and discreet force to uh, to respawn, giving them a hunter, jockey, spitter, and smoker for the next hit. No charge. So, good take yeah. there by Skyrise. Yeah, Skyrise were able to have everybody go up, go straight to the corner. They figured that their team did not have a spitter, so they didn't really have to worry about that as much. And now it's going to be this three cap with spitter. Four Team Favela Boys, Jockey Smoker Hunter on the spawn queue now. With this Hunter looking to walk it inside, it looks like. But he's going to get blasted through Dead. the Double cap oh does go out for a bit of damage, but that was a great pre-fire there by NF, and he was able to get most of that Hunter dead before they went any further forward. And now this is a little bit precarious, I'd say, for Favela Boys, iPad, just because mm. Team Skyrise still has a 562 bonus. 563. Now, I suppose I want to just bring, some, bring to light the importance of that Smoker Clear on the... I'll, I'll talk about it later, I suppose, but let's focus up on where they're at now. The hit they're going into here is a Boomer Jockey Charger and a Hunter. Nothing too lethal. Um, so if they take this hit cleanly, they could be looking outside the safe room with a lovely, uh, lovely amount of bonus. Charger misses the hunter lands and gets an instant clear. The jockey at discreet at the back is getting a good amount of damage onto Nick. Loses a lot of uh, temporary health, but will be given pills so they can just rush through and maybe fight outside the safe room. The last hit, no jockey. They're gonna have a, I think a charger. What died first? Do you remember the sack order? Mm, I seconds, but... think it was either Boomer or Charger that died first, but they're really hoping two, two, to get maybe. a Charger. They're really hoping to get a Charger on this last hit, but the Survivors are already just booking it forward. It's going to be Charger, Hunter, Spitter, Smoker. Oh, they're in! If they go, they're, they're in! Oh, but Coach is still outside, and oh. now he's going to go in! They got it! Let's go, go! You know what? That looked like... We can give you the go-go right back in Favela, and that was actually... Now the lead, is it? For a team... No, it's not. Am I reading this wrong? No, it is the lead. For Team Skyrise by 300 yep. points. Neutral server game where it's just 1 to 4 Dark Carney as well. I mean, I'd say Dark Carney is one of the better campaigns where you can make a comeback on any map, especially map 4 with a hittable wipe or something like that. So it's still really anybody's game, but a 300 point lead going from map 2 is nice. Especially when it's going to be one of these tanks. 31% is going to be in the swan room, I am fairly sure. So you don't expect to see a whole lot of damage go out onto the survivors from the SI. Quick ready ups though going out, so it's gonna be Skyrise on Survivor side now. Favela Boys on the Special Infected, Spitter, Hunter, Boomer, and a Jockey for this hit. It's gonna be a DDA tank as well, iPad. He's gonna to need to try to do as much work as possible in that swan room. Oh yeah, so uh, this is actually quite exciting. I didn't think the match would be this close, not gonna lie, but who doesn't love a, a good back and forth? 31% tank in the hands of DDA, I think you said. Hunter does, oh Rochelle, get out of there my friend. Why did you even go there? Kryta. You never want to go into that uh, little death corner. 
I mean, to be honest, I don't think he was actually trying to hop outside that room. I think he was just trying to get onto the, the window, right? I suppose the window, I suppose, to not take that spit damage, but 41 spit damage to uh, Caution, he's not going to be complaining. Uh, that's exactly what you want on a 2 2 hit like that. And the survivors, they can go to either side of those railings, and I think both are kind of dead, because even though you have the one, like, small cement trash can on the left hand side, like, it's still so easy to get pinned and have Spicko on top of that, too. And the other side, as we just saw, is pretty much death as well, just because it is that little, you know, space between the railing where you can't hop back on top of the railing and that cabinet. But Charter's going in after this Hunter has already landed. It has been a quad cap attempt going out, but really only a few scratches going out for any kind of damage. Everybody, I think... Not too sure. It's just... I feel like there's just been a... I might be wrong, and you know, feel free to correct me, but I just feel like there's been a shift in momentum. Yeah. I think, right, uh, Skyrise, I keep saying Crytus team, but Skyrise have actually started landing better hits. I suppose I've maintained that overall pressure, and I suppose uh, Boys in Favela just seem a little flustered at the moment, and um, it could cost them if they don't, don't, you know, snap it together soon, because although this is a, you know, a hard tank to play now, I suppose, a good boom. Oh, never mind, I take that back. I thought I was going to land on Nick, but it's a hard tank to play. So there's a lot of pressure on DDA at the moment to get some good damage because if this is maybe a one in cap tank, Skyrise can make it into the, into the safe room. Even if they bleed it in, they're still 300 away. Yeah. Uh, Getting that distance would be huge for them, honestly, at this point, too, just because it is that, you know, best of one game where only, you know, it's only this map and the next one. So if they can really just preserve that lead going into map four, they're not going to have as much pressure. And the SI in terms of boys in the favela, right, they've been hitting kind of yeah. when the survivors have wanted them to. Let's see if that continues here. As the tank is in, Smoker is looking for an early pull. Tank is going to get a first punch onto Nick. Another punch going out onto Nick. This could be the corner going out. One more punch will do it. And they he need to be gonna... careful here. They need to be careful. Oh. Smoker dies. Both Smoker of them actually kiting back onto the jockey land. They need to clear the jockey. They need to clear the jockey. Oh my god. Oh, it clears the jockey just on time. And the tank will actually try to get one more in cap. Rochelle, pretty oh. dumb by Rochelle, whoever Rochelle is. <laughs> giving him the in cap as well. That's going to be three downs going out on that tank by DDA. Now that is an awesome amount of damage from the That's SI. And a, it was a great tank as well. You don't expect to see three in caps there, iPad. Hell no, I think Kreitzer is actually... Yes, I think he has a habit of getting into the tank's back, and sometimes, you, if you're not aware about, I don't know, I suppose the SI or, or your spatial awareness, you're just going to be hitting an in-cap unnecessarily, so I think that's a bit of a uh, misplay or a dumb play, whatever you want to call it, by Kreitzer, but the remainder of uh, you know, the health of the team... I mean, they're alive. You know, they, if they wiped, it could have been a crazy amount of pressure, but they're alive, they're just going to try and make as much distance as they can. Coast, it can be an unforgiving hit if uh, played wrong. So, I suppose at this point in time, if they, what is it, the map distance it's, uh, is about 600 this map. So, they get to about, let's just say 1800 or, or yeah, about 1900 mm. points. So they're going to need bonus to make that safe from. Uh, they are. Score. And the thing about it is, with three people who are bleeding like this, they're going to get at least one more set of pills, I would say. But this just makes everything, especially like the 300 common at the coaster, that much more precarious for them. There's going to be another hit coming up as well. And I think the SI are going to want to send this fast. With this charger coming in from the front, along with that hunter, both are going to land in that corner, but there's no spit. The spitter's going to get picked, and there's a jockey landing. Still a great amount of damage, but that spitter iPad just... You end up. Actually, wow. uh, in you end up new... Actually, that, that was pretty much, I don't know who the spitter was, let me just have a look, I can't check. The best positioning for that spitter, he actually came from the furthest room away uh, possible for the infected team. So uh, Innuendo had, uh, I suppose, his thinking hat on and actually saw the spitter running and picked it off. So could have been worse, but a good hit overall. Immediately kill Boomer at this choke as well, because they do have a 2-2. Spit's going to go down for the delay. Nick is going to be forced to stop. As we do have the Smoker pre-spawn, the Hunter is also up at the top. Survivor is really wanting this Smoker pick onto <laughs> Dina Smoker. Not gonna find it though. Smoker pull does go out. That's gonna be the end cap onto Krycha once again at this time. Smoke. Kill the Smoker. The Smoker's dead, okay. Ooh, Charger's going in. Misses. That's not gonna be an end cap though onto Nick. That was a little too fast uh, in my opinion. I think Discreet didn't need to go there. Like, the, the end cap was already... Oh, good M2 there by, uh, I think, Frey onto DDA, so... I feel like the work had been done, Rails. They had an yeah. in-cap. They didn't need to send that Charger in. No, that Charger was a little... I think it was a little overzealous there. Spiritual, and that's all. 
Yeah, I mean, and that's kind of what we said in terms of the momentum being on Skyrise's side, because the SI are kind of hitting when, the, when it's better for the survivors. And even though they got the in cap off the smoker pull there, you know, that could oh, have been... Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, Ellis, that being NF, not quite getting fully reset, and now there are more distance points just going out as this spitter is going to get picked. The Charger wants a rocket, but I don't think it's going to be able to get it from there, and yeah. Team Skyrise is getting the most that they can out of this map now. Telling you, 1,900 points means they already need about 200 bonus, uh, what's their face? Boys in Favela need 200 bonus to make map 4 an even Steven round. So, uh, smart play to, I suppose, to take an in-cap onto NF prior to the next choke. Jockey's actually walking up the left-hand side ladder, does get a manage. Jockey onto Nick, who... Is oh, the Charger! That is a death going out from that Charger, from behind. One survivor also in cap on the side, as I think we're going to be seeing Krycha take that last set of pills, being black and white. Going to try to work their way forward now. Our team Skyrise as this jockey gets a nice troll, forcing Rochelle. Yeah, forcing Rochelle to get that M2. As the hunter's gonna go in M2 it as well. The boom has now worn off on Ellis. Oh my gosh, yeah, they're gonna go. And if you like, see, I'm going. It's a huge charge there by uh by caution. Unfortunately, Skyrise uh caught out not paying attention. I think that jockey actually had them quite uh, focused. Focus fire was quite heavy and uh, obviously caution with a quick <laughs> okay discreet. Uh, <laughs> you have to work a little harder with that orange thing apparently. But uh, yeah, the caution with a huge double charge actually uh, saves them a lot of grief. Uh, they're actually making, I mean, they, except for Rochelle, they actually made a lot of distance. That is, like aside from making bonus there, I'd say 521 distance points, you can be real happy with that on map 3, especially with that 300 point lead from the last map. This is going to force yeah. Poison the Favela to not... T well, I mean, the fact that the tank for uh, Favela got three in caps and the survivors still made it that far right after that much bleed early, I think. Uh, yeah. You can be real happy with that on Skyrise's <laughs> side. But honestly, in a situation like this and with teams of this caliber, I just fully expect Poison the Favela to tank the tank better. They cannot get boomed, and I'll say it again because I've said this after playing a bit of Cedar recently, but also just in scrims and watching matches, it's like that one boom, especially in an area like that, like that can be a complete wipe just because of how the common on that one boom just, like, it, they do not all, like, attack the survivors when they're supposed to. There's delay that goes yeah. out, they trickle in for minutes, and then it only takes one common to catch one of the survivors up top or underneath to get a really easy corner for the tank, and you have either a lot of damage or a wipe going out immediately. It was almost a wipe by the Favela boys with a 3-cap in that spot too, because they got that early in-cap by the tank and then the Smoker Jockey Hunter. I like Smoker Jockey Hunter in that area, but there are so many ways that team boys in the Favela can just take control of this game again, and it starts off by shutting down a tank that they should be shutting down, and then they have to ace the coaster choke. They could take the lead on this map, but it's going to be real interesting. They could, yeah. They need, they need about 225 exact, I think, to, uh, to make the scores nice and even. So I'd like to see, after a bit of a shaky survivor round, towards the second half anyway, I'd like to see, uh, why are they sending that in there, but, like, oh, they're going for a quad, right? I'd like to see if, uh, Skyraz can maintain this pressure that they've built for three maps now, or the third now, so. Do you think that was a bit of a, I'm not sure if they really need it, I mean, maybe a quad sack's good, might, 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 might and a quad might not, but you just want to get some pre-tank damage, I suppose, so. I was just thinking that. Worth it. Yeah, and I mean, this is something where having survivors who are five punches in this room can be really, really beneficial for the uh, survivors, just because this tank getting it down on its own already is dubious, but if it has to waste five punches on it with everybody just railing its back, well, yeah. that can be huge Smoke indeed. Ooh, I didn't yeah. think that... I thought, that was, I thought they had a potential that the smoke landed on Nick quite early. I think the charger just kind of gave it a bit of a miracle charge. Reloading. Now you do actually have survivors who are still five punches, I believe. Yeah, Dana is still going to be five punches on this, and Discreet's right at 96. So everybody else is four, but in an area like that to land a quad, everything has to land really fast in short sequence right next to the survivors, so it's a lot harder for them to deal with that. But there is the boomer dying, and also the tank up in the hands of Intel Pentium Gamer, aka Innuendo who is a huge part of Team Skyrise here. We haven't seen him play as much recently, but he's got a chance right now to really, really help his team out in this spot, especially because, 
you know, I don't think they're going to be getting another boomer for this, but if they can get some kind of early pull or some kind of support that helps him out, that then allows him to run after one of the other survivors, like, this could be a huge amount of damage. Smoker Jockey Hunter is one of the best spawn sets for it, I would say. Yep, they're going 2 2 2 easies and 2 at chromes, 2 chromes, I think. Uh, and with the infected set of a Smoker Jockey and a Hunter, so that's also in uh, return, lands a B hop across the pipes. And, uh, Hopefully, if he's smart, he won't go for Nick. He's actually getting baited to go for Nick. Oh, he does get a long arm though, so this is good. Usually, uh, that's actually quite an easy juke for that survivor. The two cap lands, I think, and the tank might be able to get a punch onto LSE. Whiffs, that's good. Uh, oh, a few whiffs here by Innuendo. He needs to make sure he does land these. And uh, one in cap. Probably how one, that tank should be cap. played. Exactly, that's kind of what you expect to see from a survivor squad here. He did get the single down pretty much on his own chasing dda around that one table spot that is really really beneficial for the survivors but the thing that happened on the three cap is as soon as he got that down he had like 1400 hp and he wasn't really able to retarget before the si went in yeah they had the hunter and the jockey land but the smoker was a little early so they weren't able to get the three cap that they needed very high risk high reward area with si spawns like that oh, was it close to a three late. cap was it it, and it had the nice double cap, but it wasn't really as close to a three cap as it looked. Uh, right, that smoker okay. went early, so boomer smoker charger and a spitter for this. There's the pull going out. Charger gets a beautiful double charger. Spit! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh my no. god! DDA goes black and white. That is the damage bonus getting just completely oh. annihilated there for a second too. They're gonna get more when they have Nick actually be revived, right? But it's down ouchie, to 39% ouchie, ouchie. off of that. Double charge going out, one survivor black and white. You know, same story. Skyrise's SI hits outside the tank have been pretty on point, and they need to do something like that again, and just maybe even try to kill DDA and then kill everybody else, because this is still a nice spot for Favela Boys to be in. I don't like this hit here, though, I'll say. It's a nice double cap for a second, but iPad, when we're talking about momentum... <laughs> Yeah. If you, I think the SI hit kind of where the survivors want them to there, just also because they want that set of spawns for the coaster that could be really, really good for them. Just, I suppose they just got to think a little ahead, uh, Team Skyrise. They know that they've got one of the biggest chokes in the game coming up. They can't be, uh, you know, sacking a smoker last. Maybe they feel like they can get one more hit off, and if they can, then that's great. But they got to make sure that, yeah, it's good to go-go your hits, but your, your, your job is to prevent the, uh, the survivors to, from making too much progress. So, Swift Lock is good. Gonna have uh, another spawn up by the time the Spitter... Uh, it's not gonna be a Smoker though, is it? Is it gonna be a Hunter? I think Ooh, it's gonna be a Hunter. So. Yeah. Sounds about right for what the survivors are running into now. They're gonna be able to push a little bit up the coaster, I think, right before that last spawn is up, because now the Boomer is also going to die. So it's going to be a rolling quad cap attempt, but they're not gonna have the Smoker for it as of yet. That is yep. pretty nice for the SI on this, just because that smoker Think can get... Need to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it looks as though Nick is going to be doing that. DDA black and white. He can't get in-cap charge. There's the skeet going out onto the hunter. This charger trying to back up as well. And the momentum, I think, even Ooh. with that charger landing, has gone back in the favela boy's favor. They clear the smoker in the back. A jockey lands for a bit of damage in the front. But that's still 619 bonus iPad, and the favela yep, boys yep, have cleared yep. the choke. I think a uh, good ski, I suppose, by DDA has a bit of a ground ski, but... Uh, they needed to maybe, if they wanted to stop him, the, the hunter had to, or the smoker was, was too late actually. The, something needed to go earlier, I suppose the charger wasn't even ready, he he should have gone earlier in that circumstance, I think. A good amount of bonus at the moment, they can't afford to lose this, they need to make sure they walk into the safe room with at least, you know, they've still got a few chokes coming up. Another skeet there by Dina, lovely. Charger misses and the spitter will get a spit block onto, uh, onto Coach and Ellis at the back, so this is good so far from Villa Boys. Awkward hit, I would say, from the SI there, too. I don't know if they're exactly desperate to get this kind of damage now, but with the Horde also terminating, right, the survivors can take as much time as they need to when they want to, and with how many pills they still have left, right, and just DDA bleeding out, they can take as much time as they want in this last little horseshoe here on the coaster. As that mm. boomer gets emptied and shut down, there's no reason for them to risk anything here. I think they just want to conserve the bonus as much as possible and then maybe start working their way through. But it looks like they're going to be going now. Go. They're going now at the end of the horde. I've seen it a lot in the Asian part, so... Uh... A good pool, I suppose. He needs to relocate. They obviously know he's there, so... Maybe goes forward, maybe changes up the position a little bit. The charge lands. Charge onto Rochelle. 
Maybe a pound or two, there's Koshi's reloading. Two pounds, maybe three pounds. Oh three God. pounds. On to Dina. Someone clear my guy. That yeah. sniper unfortunately does not get a respawn as fast as he wanted it to be. Going all the way back to the beginning. And I, uh... I, yeah. I honestly thought the charger should have gone for a reset at first, but then him getting that many slams just in direct oh proximity to the survivors yeah. made that worth, yeah. This creep just watching his buddy get pounded. And, I mean, they're gonna have one more hit now because they managed to get that reset before, but it's a pretty bad 2-2. Oh, did full damage on Nick? Oh, no! That's Close to it. And the spit's gonna climb up and it doesn't get any spread onto the railing, so it's still 398 bonus for Team Boys in the Favela. They are gonna be taking a slight lead, it looks like, going into map 4. Hunter, yeah, though, is going in. Smoker gets a pull on Dina in the back. But that is going to be the map made in nice fashion by the Favela boys, shutting down that tank with one in cap, taking the lead 2,120 to 1,057. It's close. 170, points. 170 points. Wow. <laughs> that is exactly what you're kind of hoping for, I'd say, in a match like this. And with it being this close to, like, this tank is absolutely everything. I think it's going to be Kreitz's tank for Skyrise, and it's going to be Discreet's Discreet tank for Favela, tank. right? Yeah. For Favela, so obviously they did a good uh, damage control from Skyrise to make sure they didn't walk in with 650 bonus is what they had, I suppose, or 620 actually after they took the first choke up the uh, up the the roller coaster. But um, yeah, I think they could have done a bit more damage in certain parts. Overall, still good performance from both teams on SI. Um, I think. Favela boys would have loved to have walked into the safe room with a bit more, uh, bit more health. I think it was that last hit towards the uh, the crossing is what helped uh, Skyrise drop that bonus by about 200 or 150. Yeah, it was that charge that managed to land too in the front that got that much damage onto Dina. I think it was just with how much permanent health they had left, and having that fall so dramatically by getting like 60 charger damage or something like that there, that really did help out Skyrise's case. And in a map like this, with the tank being at 60-some percent, that's going to be inside the barn. That could honestly come down to which tank does more damage, with both teams making the save room with all four survivors in bonus. It could be, like, that close. And with only 160-some points separating the two of them, this is going to be a really, really intense round. So let's see exactly what Boys in the Favela decide to do on the survivor side, because they managed to put things together, and they looked, I'd say, more like themselves last map, too. The Skyrise have to just try to keep hitting them as much as they can with hits that make sense without going too fast on Survivor Infected at this point. Because mm. any, hit, any hit could really make the difference between these two teams. 63%. That's what, a barn tank? Yep, it's going to be barn tank, and we are going to be live here. Map 4 of the semifinals game It's going to be Boys in the Favela on Survivor's side. Getting one-boomed by that first spawn coming in from Skyrise. They might want a 3-1 here, iPad, but I don't think the Survivor's going to give it to them. Nah, they'll be wary of the fact that, uh, what are they sacked? They might get a chore. I think they get a, either a, I mean, I could be wrong. I'm thinking smoker, but it could be a charger. Maybe it's when you sack. Oh, they actually get a hunt spit onto Dina. So, uh, the jock is actually jockeying. No, that spit spread was actually horrendous, but, oh well, good damage, I suppose, onto Dina early on. A few full ticks onto, uh, Ellis. Reloading. Charger Boomer next then, definitely for the next hit, and if they're lucky they get a 2-2 to kind of sandwich the survivors here, they almost got an okay amount of damage on that first hit too, mm. but as you mentioned, that spit spread was absolutely terrible, unfortunately. Yeah, I, think, I don't know if you missed or if you just spread wrong, I don't know. It was weird, it was very, it, like, it went all behind Rochelle instead of around uh. her, but it is that 2-2 that the survivors can really take a lot of damage on Charger, Hunter, Spitter, and Boomer for Skyrise as the survivors make their way out. Hunter's gonna get Ooh, nicely speed by discreet. Charger going in, not going to land it though, and the Spitz is going to do a mortar spit all the way up in the air looking for some kind of delay, but this is nice survivor play again, I'd say by boys in the favela despite being boomed. I'm a That's a bit of a time out for you there, Shyman. Master Carrot has timed you out. Well, that's anyway, unfortunate. We have to see it. Perhaps one to four, obviously, in today's match. So this is the do or die, both teams. Hunter Priest one at the back again, another Hunter that may or may not get skeeted, does get skeeted, so uh, Jockey trying to land, doesn't land, the smoker trying to get a scratch. Dean is probably down to about 60, is it? Uh, 58 HP, so the other survivors doing a good job maintaining their health for this tank, who's going to be in the hands of Kreischer. 
We want four punts at this point as well, so if that tank can go in and get his initial down, that would be huge for Team Skyrise. And as you mentioned, it is Kreitch's tank. Charger, Hunter, Charger actually going in right now. Would have had a jockey too, so that would have been a really nice room three cap for them to use, but instead now they're going to get either that smoker or that boomer. I don't know, iPad, I think boom in this room can be absolutely crucial for the SI, but if it gets popped, that tank is not going to do as much damage, obviously. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. Uh, I think... I'd still prefer a 3 cap, to be honest. I think if you have the boomer in the first rotation, go for it. If you land it, great, I'll commit. But uh, yeah, if you're going to hold on for it, hold on to it during the tank, you better hope you land it, because if you don't, I'm not going to be happy. They're going for a hit here, trying to reduce the health of the uh, healthier survivors. Probably not the smartest of decisions. They're going to have a hunter, boomer, hunter, 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 boomer, hunter, charger, hunter, right? charger, yeah. charger, boomer, whatever the last one is. I mean, so, that can work in the room, but someone's going to probably distract for the boomer, or the survivor's going to have to be wary of it doing a quick, like, rocket jump through either the front door or the back dude, door to yeah. get any kind of damage. But Crutch is going to have to go in now, 30%, committing the tank with that Charger Jockey Boomer, trying to get his first punch here. Imagine oh, oh. he it. That's going to be another punch going out into DDA. He's getting railed at this point. Oh, the one boom did land. There's the end cap going out. Charger going in, taking the boom survivor, though. Tank getting a punch onto Ellis. Charger's still going out. The jockey did die, however, as Good Caution damage. is getting whacked around by this tank. Almost for that long arm was almost thrown directly into Ooh. Coach's face. But that's a good, good amount damage. of damage. I had they got the one boom to land, and the charger went for the boomed survivor. Yeah, Interestingly that's enough, that's a lot of damage, but not the white. It's nearly three incaps. I mean, apart from Caution, who's about on 30, 35 perm health or 30 perm health. Um, yeah, good damage by Kreitzer. Unfortunately, uh, I just still would have preferred if they actually went in with a three cap because Kreitzer actually got a pretty early corner on DDA, who just, uh, I think, got long armed. Uh, such as the nature of tanks and a barn with both teams playing on high ping. So, I mean, if they can uh, maybe make sure that the survivors... I mean, I think a wipe would be great. Um, not here, but even at the event, I can get, you know, a bit of a wipe. It'd be great, but make sure there's just, just absolute no bonus walking into the safe room because a lot of pressure on the uh, on map four for both uh, teams. So they need to uh, keep the pressure on. That boom landing there too, if the tank, I mean, if he'd had like 2k health at that point, right, instead of like 1.5 and dropping, that could have easily been a wipe as well, but because the boomer landed a bit later on the tank's commit when he was already getting that first initial corner, right, it didn't have enough time for the entire horde to come in, it didn't have enough time for the straggler horde to come in and get anybody like weirdly common locked either after the one boom wears off. So yeah. that would have been huge had they hit that just a little bit earlier, but at the same point in time, you know... I think the charger going for the boom target there, like, okay, yeah, it guarantees a charge and that's good, but that's essentially two SI going on one person. So, like, I don't know if the charger had anything in terms of, like, landing on one of the survivors who were green instead of boomed, uh, but you, you typically want to see them try to go for those other survivors, because I think the tank could have gotten the course. cap on DDA, gone for the boom survivor, and then covered the other yeah, cap. Had you're right, landed, you're you know? right. You're right, yeah. I think the jockey, unfortunately, got M2'd, or else that would have been more damage, but, um... Yeah, Hunter there yeah. actually I think is even better than Jockey, but hey, they made it work the best they could. That's three survivors in full bleed. Pills being committed now, and that's an event still to deal with iPad before it was in the favela get anywhere close to that safe. Yeah. Room. So the bonus at the moment is about four hundred and one. Damage bonus still seventy percent. It's pretty high, uh, after nearly three incaps, but I suppose they just have to keep working. Maybe they get that Oh, nice hunt on to Ellis and the spit does spread a little better. Caution's DB nearly dropping. A big boom. I think that's going to be quad cap? Should be, yeah. And the biggest thing here, honestly, I think, for the special infected is having that one survivor slow. The fact that Caution is going to be slow going through this event on high ping for both teams. They can wait the 150 common out, but this guarantees two or three hits by the SI to get that damage bonus down or get that wipe as they want here. But it's going to be that three cap with Spit. Charger, Jockey, Hunter, really nice three cap, I'd say, if they can find a way for these pinners to land. They're going to be looking for the rocket spawns above the survivors. Jockey bouncing its way in, going for Rochelle. Hunter going to, going to get skeeted, and the Charger, though, does land in the corner onto Dina. So they stacked everything on Dina, and that's two survivors slow now. Like that. Why do they always just go for Dina? Do they not like him or something? I feel like there were other survivors that had a 3 cap, could have maybe spread the damage a little better. If they were smart, they're going to know that uh, Caution's DB is about to bleed out, so they start need to hitting Caution a little more. Um, but yeah, they still have 300 bonus here, the Vela Boys, so they need to make sure that they get rid of it, because it's just additional bonus they, they need to catch up on. 
It's probably not going to be uh, what they want at this stage. The jockey lands at the front, the smoker lands at the back, the hunter's going to try to support the jockey. Taking his time, lands over the top of coach and does get an in cap onto uh, Dina. Bleeding more DB, he now goes to black and white, I think. Uh, caution DB to in cap too. And this is really precarious for Favela Boys now. They're down to 11% DB, 20% HB. It's all discreet right now. It's all discreet. Pretty much in terms of their bonus. But they're going to get common locked in a pretty tough area right now. Chargers looking for a spawn. They're just trying to kill the common on survivor side. As the horde is eventually going to end. Rochelle on top of those porta pies as well. Doing the best that they can to block. But now Boomer's going to jump off. Ooh, does get up. That Charger also pre-spawns, it looks like. Looking for this pin onto DDA as the damage bonuses continues to bleed on these survivors. Charger does Shut manage up. to land on the yeah. next. That's the yeah. kick is what he said to him. <laughs> That's two downs. That's two downs and there's no more damage bonus now, yeah. iPad. This no, is bad. doable for Skyrise. It really is. They just got to preserve their health. Crashes onto discreet. DDA black and white, Dino black and white as they go into the safe room. And this tank is going to be literally everything for this game. 2,752 points are what Favela Boys are going to have for this entire campaign. The last points they're going to score in this semifinals match. They've done a really solid job, I would say, at least of trying yep. to make bonus. You know, pretty much every round except for map two. And the question now for Skyr is going to be, okay, it's just about an 800 point lead just under. You need to make it with 500 distance and then 300 bonus to get anywhere mm -hmm. close to this. What do you think they need to do on that tank iPad to make this happen? I think they can only afford one in cap on this tank and uh, they're in a pretty good position. I think uh, if they can get into the tank, I want to make sure that Kreitzer doesn't get into the tank's back too quickly uh, in doing, you know, if the tank turns around, we're going to link cap. So first of all, for starters, they need to get to the tank with good health. That's just period. You know, that's just probably the, the way that they're going to set up a good win on map four. If, uh, you know, if I was on team Skyrise and then they need to fight the tank with maybe one, one in cap Take a few hits at the event and uh, should be easy from there. See if they're able to do that. Skyrise also pride themselves on being a map 4 team in a lot of ways. And they're going to be going out of the safe room here, <laughs> annihilating that hunter. Jockey's still bouncing around on the roof, looking for anything but zeros across the board on that first 2 2 hit. Jockey going in now, trying to get a couple of scratches and managing to get just about two as the survivors work their way forward. But. Each Ooh. one of these, each one of these hits is good real important take. now. <laughs> yeah, good take. I'm telling you right now, for Fela, for Vela boys, that butchering the name, definitely a bit nervous at the moment. So, you know, they've got who's the tank? The Screed's got, you know, good tank. So they've just got to make sure he, uh, they provide him good support, uh, as well as him trying to get an early corner. So the Hunter, same as Skyrise, does pre-spawn around the corner. The Charger goes for a bit of a miracle charge, unable to land. The Smoker will get cleared eventually, and. The, a bit of hunt speed damage on coach. This is quite good. This is what you want because now they're going to be able to get to the tank uh, with uh, the next hit's going to be a 2 2 with a charge. Uh, charge. Did be smoke or char yeah. the, the charger died uh -huh. first in that last hit. You know, and I can see why people go for solo charges, especially like rocketing from above on people with pain that way, but. That charger was pretty focused, I would say, yeah. by the survivors, so they can't afford to have that happen again unless the charger is able to get one of those quick rockets for an easy charge. Like, he can't be going for anything like across the survivors because they will just light him up that entire way. Boomer spawns on top, there's a nice rocket charge going in. Jockey lands for a bit of damage onto Rochelle, bit of spit damage going off, and that's a nice hit going into this tank iPad. That drops and after 45 HP. It's nearly identical to Favela Boys, where they had three survivors on good health. And uh, Dina, I believe, was, a, a bit, he was about 57 health, so it's nearly identical. Um, again, from here, one in cap on tank, and, and they're looking good. Discreet, if I'm playing the tank, he just wants to make sure he does enough spread on the survivors. Make sure he'll get one in cap. And then, yeah, just spread out that love amongst the survivors. They're actually going back! <laughs> My goodness, this is huge! Play. And not gonna land. Other dumpsters trying to go in, not gonna land. The smoker pull gets cleared. This is a oh, huge play by Skyrim. Taking this not all this, the way back. this is what? wild. Hey, they want to be able to shut the tank down, but there's still so many common that are trailing from a boom that landed a couple minutes ago well, in front. I just, well, I mean, I get it. You know, long arms in that room. They're not gonna really have the best of opportunities to try to, uh, you know make it out with uh, a lot of survivors healthy. Discreet's actually under pressure. He didn't actually have the chance to get the next two 
hittables. He's gonna have to go Boomer in two. Charger jockey for this as well is not. I would really want to see a smoker here, but there's the dumpster going Ooh. in. The and Just not the best spots, man. He's gonna oh, be he misses. he misses the first one. Misses, misses the second. Punch. Oh, he's he's striking. The boomer is gonna die. He's, yes. he's missing punches. Rock is finally going to land. Ten he's going back in. Can I push on that former man? Oh my God, he's gonna be climbing out now. God. 300 HP. iPad, is this what we're seeing? Is this, is this what we're seeing? Under fresh, what is happening? This great. He's got hairline of health left. They need to make sure that, you know, the tank flow, that we're well aware of it. They just gotta make sure they don't take unnecessary damage. Now the hunter lands, we'll get clear. They need to escape this rock. There's, well, never mind, doesn't land the rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is huge. Double boom goes out in the back. It's one punch and one rock from Discreet. He wasn't able to get his hitables in. It was such a ballsy call by the survivors, too, because there was a hit up for that after they got boomed. But they saw the common there and said, We are absolutely not going to be dealing with that room. Yes. This all is just a new Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's like they're not too many teams. You know, they, they buckle on the pressure sometimes and they don't want to do something that's a little different. You know, they don't want to make all these new players. So. Props off, I actually you know, respect to Skyrise for trying something new. It could have gone easily bad. Don't get me wrong, that could have gone wrong in so many ways, but they made it work. Still and have a helped them doing that. 45 bonus. Charger's gonna go in, not able to find it on the coach. Smoker's gonna get cleared, and yeah, Discreet unfortunately missed his first two punches, I think, on that commit. And in an area like that, where he already wasn't able to get his hittables in that well, just by not having a whole lot of time. Like, he needed to try to find that initial corner as best as possible, but he wasn't able to get it until one of the hundred bonus hit right away. Else. They have 700, 700 bonus. bonus. Yep, and it's only a couple of hits to deal with, and because it's 1.9 still, they can just sit there and hold out the horde as much as they need to until it terminates, so long as they don't get waylaid by some of these hits. Charger, Boomer, Hunter, Smoker going in. Boomer from the front gonna get a single. Charger's looking for the intercept, but not going to land it. Hunter does land in front for a bit of damage. Charger's gonna get a fist on Rochelle after that pull, but it's 635 bonus still, iPad. They oh, only man. need to score. They only need to score about. 160 more than we saw Team Favela Boys make it with to win. I think, uh, I don't think I've seen a charge land for Favela Boys apart from that one before the barn. Looking to go back. I don't know if they're for real. Might be but, a meme. Yeah. What would you do here? You know, you've got good bonus. Are you holding out the crescendo of the event or are you just go going after one? Depends on what the SI spawns will be. That's going to be a pound spit landing in that corner. <laughs> <Jockey> <laughs> landing. What the way in the hole? Oh my <laughs> days. <laughs> Dean, uh, Dean. I feel like Aussie boys are just like, what the fuck am I NA and uh, you players doing at the moment? They're looking to go. This is good pressure. This can be. This is the game. The boys. If this hit doesn't do much damage, and the spitter died last, mind you. Yeah, this that's hit what does not do damage. Yeah. This is the end for Vela boys from QAT. It's a quad hunter, smoker, jockey, charger, smoker. Oh my smoker. god. Way too early in my opinion. Going to get cleared. There's the double cap going out. Charger lands in front as well, oh, getting oh, a slam. But I think it's GG. I think it's GG. Skyrise once again on map four, trying to work their way forward. 409 bonus left. That is the GG going out. Upset of the century. Skyrise upset for the Favela Boys. Take the win over the Boys. Do not want to be associated to that group anymore because I've never lost this crutch. Uh, fuck you, team. But that's okay. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes you lose. 2,853 to 2,752 Team Skyrise are going to go to the grand finals of the Quarantine Anniversary Cup. That was one of the best survivor calls like at the right time that I've seen, and I don't know how long to take that tank backwards on that floor. That was, uh, you know what, that was, I'm sure if you're watching, one of the 150 viewers on Vanilla Stream watching this match, absolute blockbuster of a game don't want to see a game in any other i suppose caliber you know back and forth skyrise you know what ironic i I'll, I'll be i'll be honest i did not think they were going to win today's match i honestly thought the you know i'm sure they scrimmed also i've seen the favela guys the must be my team scrim and uh you know put a lot of time into today or uh, this week's or this match but Clearly, and like I mentioned in the beginning of the match, doesn't matter which team's better on paper. 
Um, unfortunately, if you're not going to perform in the match, um, you aren't going to get those dubs when it matters. So, uh, good work to Skyrise. Uh, unfortunate for Favela Boys, I'm sure their journey on uh, QAT will maybe seem more fruitful than it did in a horrific end to, to QAT. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's something where, you know, with teams having that much experience going against each other this way, like, it really is anybody's game until the very end of it, as we just saw. And I think now for Skyrise versus Amp, that I'm expecting, I think, it could be, I don't know if that's going to be neutral or it's going to be home and away, but the fact the game we just saw was neutral brought that extra pressure to it, and the fact that everybody was on pretty even footing, right, going into it, which that's really all you can hope for because having it as close as possible there but that all came down to it wasn't a ping thing at all really because everybody was really balanced that way it was the decisions that the teams made and that you know i mean favel boys did a great job on map three with that three and cap tank in the swan room then they managed to actually make the safe room that way but that map four yeah that barn room nowadays i think it's not the same tier of spot that it used to be like it's still a really good spot but having a boom land in there from the rafters or just like anything go wrong can really, really cause at least two in-caps to go out. And that was the difference there, because in a 100-point win by uh, Skyrise, right, the fact they went back to the safe room and shut the tank down that way and took no in-caps off of it is what made them able to do it. Because if they manage to get yeah. even, like, an in-cap and a half, I don't think they win that game, you know? You oh, know what? It's just, it's just not easy. Like, you, you don't go into map four thinking, oh, fuck, we're going to need about, you know, 300 bonus. Can we do it? The fact that they had the nerves to pull it off, you know, you, you, you got to respect them. Like, they're, you know, a new team put together, you know, one of the only teams that are, I suppose, representing EU at this point in time. And they're, they've done a good job in making it to the finals of QAT, you know, about 60. How many teams registered for this cup again? Uh, maybe 40 something odd teams, and uh, they're making it to the finals, and we'll go up against Amped. Um, I can't remember what the last map is, if you remember, for the finals. Um, I believe yeah. it's a veto choice. Veto, that's right. Yeah. You are correct. So Veto going into the last map. Um, but yeah, it looks like Seed 2 lose to Seed 5. Who knows? Anything yeah. can happen. Exactly. So, I mean, with that said, uh, congratulations to Skyrise. Hugely, once again, commiserations to, Favel to Favel Boys. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching the streams. Vanel for streaming, iPad for co-casting. Do you have any final words here before we uh, sign this off? Um, just good luck, I suppose, to Skyrise going into the finals against Amped. Uh, you know, they are also a team not to underrate, I suppose. And uh, unfortunate for, for Team Favela, hopefully, uh, I don't know, Favela 2.0, which is Equilix, uh, can, you know, uh, do better in, in VGT. But yeah, thanks, Rail. Thanks, Vanil. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, I'll see you in the, in the next one. Sounds good. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.